Okay, Assalamualaikum. Uh, for this video, we are going to continue with the next lesson, which is lesson 4. Right, so perhaps you can uh, refer to your workbook, a uh, book you can paste, eh? uh, and you can uh, turn to page uh, 17. Okay, for this lesson, we are going to cover a new thing, uh, which is uh, this one. Okay, kalau you nampak uh, this kind of table, this is what we call as aging. Okay, that is aging. Uh, meaning that we want to monitor our debtors berapa lama dia tak bayar kita dan berapa banyak hutang yang dia tertunggak dengan kita or probably could be uh, there is a debt yang dah overdue ok contoh dia dah banyak kali berhutang dengan kita tapi dia tak bayar-bayar so probably hutang yang lama tu dah overdue dah so uh, the data staging report um, helps us uh, in terms of monitor the uh, debtors itself uh, on and also to remind them on uh, paying their debt to us lah, right? So supaya kita akan ada, uh, you know, uh, system ataupun management of this debt itself uh, in a good way and efficient. Uh, sebab kalau investor tengok kalau terlampau banyak sangat debt dan kita tak collect, it could be our uh, management itself ada problem lah, right? Uh, so a new thing that we are going to learn today is all about this one. Okay, which is this one is debtors aging report. Um, okay, yang the rest adalah benda yang sama. Okay, contoh, uh, for the first one uh, where you need to do the company setting, uh, where you have to change the company's name and you have to change the uh, accounting period. Okay, and then the next one, uh, you have to create a chart of account, this chart of account, uh, and you could see here, uh, ada uh, apa ni nama-nama uh, data dekat sini right so this one is data file maintenance yang sebelum ni kita dah belajar okay and then uh, these are the uh, chart of account okay account accountnya and kalau you present there is no accounts number provided where you need to determine by your own Okay, since kita dah lesson 4, uh, should be, you dah familiar dah kalau 1000 series for who, uh, 2000 series siapa punya, 3000 series siapa punya dan sampai uh, 9000 series uh, which is uh, belongs to um, expenses. Okay, 9000 series belongs to expenses and running number. So, it depends you can number them uh, ikut suka you terpulang. Right, okay, so dia akan bagi in the in the final exam. Uh, the question will be like lesson 4. Exactly the same. Exactly the same. Okay, exactly the same. Eh? Where they will give you uh, this kind of trial balance where uh, there is no accounts number provided. Macam uh, previous lesson. Dia tak bagi pun account number. You have to determine by your own by using uh, the uh, thousand series tu lah. Okay, and also since this one is the trial balance where they provide the, uh, the debit and credit side, so meaning that this will become your opening balances, right? So opening balances we learn on the previous lesson, right? On the lesson three. Okay, so this is your opening balances that you need to, uh, you need to enter in the opening balances uh, page. Uh, okay. And then the next one you will be here. The stock 4000 was valued at 31st December 2009. This one will be used. Um, 4000 ni kan. 4000 ni kalau you tengok ni stock ni. Okay so dia ada, dia ada asterisk and notes dekat sini. Dia nak bagi tahu lah stock 4000 ini adalah stock uh, daripada tahun lepas punya. 31 hari bulan 12. Uh, 2019 lah we assume 2019 kan. Eh? Sebab we want to do the current year 2020. Okay, so uh, this figure will be used at the maintenance stock value. So maintenance stock value also uh, we have learned on the previous uh, lesson on lesson three for the maintenance stock value. Right, okay. Uh, this one is the new thing which is you have to prepare the aging report for the two debtors for Centronic and also Puna Electric. Right, so I will show you how to do and macam mana nak buat, nak prepare this report. And uh, this one is the transactions. Okay, so untuk transactions uh, from the lesson one lagi, saya dah ajar dah macam mana nak enter the enter the transactions by using the quick entry, right? Uh, so perhaps uh, by right, you dah tahu lah, you dah mahir dah macam mana nak menggunakan 
quick entry tersebut. Right, so kalau you perasan number 3 ini, okay, kalau you nampak, there are a lot of transactions here. Okay, ada banyak eh dekat sini. Um, and kalau you perasan, uh, previous lesson, after the query chart of account, they ask us to prepare the, the organized batches, right? But in this question, dia tak mention pula, eh, Miss kata, in order to enter the transactions, we have to organize the batches. Kalau tak ada batches, tak boleh enter transactions. Tapi question ni tak minta pula. You salah. Okay, dia tak minta directly tau. Tapi indirectly, they are actually or you are actually being asked to organize the batches. Kena buat juga. Batches ini wajibul wuna. Okay, batches wajib eh untuk you buat. Kalau tak ada batches, you tak boleh enter transaction. Right, so basically yang dia dah head kan ni. Header ni, nampak ni header. Purchases journal November. Uh, this one is November 20 lah. Okay, sebab dia nak buat tahun bila ni tadi. 2010. Okay, 2010. So we change to the current one, 2020 lah. Right, so purchases journal November 20. Okay, sales journal November 20. So, this will become your batches. See, dia dah tulis dari sekat sini. Batch 1, batch 2. So, meaning that by who or by who, you have to organize the batches. Kena buat juga batches ini. Okay, so, uh, this one is batch, batch 3, batch 4, batch 5, batch 6, batch 7. Okay, batch 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so make sure you have uh, 12 batches. Okay, make sure you kena ada 12 batches lah Seperti dalam soalan So, nanti dalam final exam as well The question will be like this one Dia tak bagi tahu ataupun dia tak list down All the batches directly But then dia bagi uh, dekat header ni Okay, so kalau dia dah header kan Dah, dah dijadikan header Meaning that uh, this will become your batch name Okay, nama batch yang you kena organize lah Right, okay, so kalau you perasan, uh, for these questions, they ask you to prepare 2 months, 2 bulan November and also December here. Okay, purchases journal December uh, and purchases journal November, 2 bulan. Right, so in order to organize the batches, you only to do once. Okay, dalam organize batches tadi, buat satu kali sahaja, okay, you to call the period. First, you to call period November, you apply. And you click generate button lagi sekali, you tukar pula uh, period uh, December and then you apply again and you will see your batches will be uh, become 12 batches accordingly, 6 for uh, November and another 6 uh, batches for the December. Okay, so I will show to you later.